So if you care about environment, if you care about climate change, do we really want to be the generation that wasted another decade not fixing this, or do we want to be the generation who said, let's be smart. Hi, I'm Ron Bailey for Reason TV. Uh, today we're talking with Bjorn Lomborg, who is the head of the Danish think tank, the Copenhagen Consensus Center, and the author of The Skeptical Environmentalist. Uh, today's topic is how can humanity best uh, reduce the damage and harm that we might suffer from man-made global warming. So first, I want to ask a question. Is global warming a problem? It is a problem, yes. It, almost all researchers are telling us this is man-made, this is a problem. It's probably not much of a problem right now, but it will, certainly towards the end of the century, be a significant problem, especially in the developing world. So what is the Copenhagen Climate Consensus Project? What is that all about? It's really a process to set priorities. What we ask is a lot of different researchers in a lot of different fields to come up with smart solutions to climate. So that could be anywhere from geoengineering to black carbon to obviously cut carbon emissions. We ask them all, tell us how much is your solution going to cost? And how much good is it going to do in the sense of how much climate damage is it going to avoid? And then you can compare them. You can essentially say how much bang or how much climate bang do you get for every buck you spend? And shouldn't we be spending it, our money where it does the most good for climate first? So could you briefly tell us what it was that happened at the Copenhagen Consensus Panel? We had some of the world's top economists look at what's the smartest thing to do on climate change. The very first proposal and the very top priority from the panel was marine cloud whitening. It's essentially a geoengineering technique where you amplify a natural process, uh, waves meet, they clash up seawater, and that evaporates small particulates of salt that basically forms the nuclei of clouds. And that basically means the world get a little whiter and therefore reflects sunlight. It's a very natural process. It's incredibly cheap. $9 billion can basically save climate for the next century. Now, there's some problems in there, and we need to work those out and see if they actually work. That's why we need to do research in that. The second part is to say, let's make sure we make energy, especially green energy, much cheaper in the future. If green energy is cheap, everybody will want it. But you can't make that transition before it's cheap. You can't get the Chinese and the Indians on board. That is the way to fix climate change in the long run. Those two in combination means we have a way to fix climate in 50 to 100 years, and we have a way to transition our societies to non-fossil fuel economies. Well, let's go to the bottom of the list. And uh, what, 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 what were the things that the, the expert panel basically thought were, were not worthwhile pursuing? Well, I think it's very clear if you look at the list uh, that the carbon tax came out the very bottom of the list. And it was really important to say it was not just any big carbon tax, but it was even also fairly low carbon taxes. It's a very ineffective way of spending a lot of money and actually doing fairly little good for the climate. It doesn't mean climate change is not a problem. It doesn't mean that this is part of the solution, perhaps, in raising revenue. But it means that believing that you can cut carbon emissions is a very poor way of enacting very little climate benefits, and hence one that's probably not going to happen, and one, unfortunately, that most of the world seems intent on failing to understand that point and keep on saying, let's cut carbon emissions once again, even though we've failed a couple of times already. And when you say we failed, you mean this is the kind of thing that we did with the Kyoto Protocol and what we're likely to be doing it when the UN meets at Copenhagen in December. Yes, and we did this in Rio in 1992. We promised a lot of times to cut carbon emissions and not lived up to it. Why would Copenhagen be different? So if you care about environment, if you care about climate change, do we really want to be the generation that wasted another decade not fixing this? Or do we want to be the generation who said, let's be smart. Let's spend our money better. Let's get projects that actually work for the climate, that have much more efficiency, and hence much more likely to be implemented. Thanks, Bjorn. For Reason TV, I'm Ron Bailey.